Uh, and this is my August favorites. Um, I hope that this video turns out okay because I can't see what I'm filming because I'm using the back camera on my phone because it's such better quality. And I want to give you guys some better quality stuff. So, without further ado, here is my August favorites. I'm going to start with this lovely little jar. And I handmade this. By the way, if you guys want a tutorial on this, let me know and I will put one up. But it says brushes and it has these cute little hearts. Alright, so first off we have CoverGirl Lash Perfection and you've seen this before on my channel. Um, it is really good mascara and I definitely recommend it for a very natural look. I'm wearing it with a, my other favorite in here. Um, so I definitely recommend it. Next we have Revlon Top Speed in the color Ocean, 340 Ocean. And if you saw my nail polish collection video, which I will link down below, then you would have seen this color, which is a beautiful color. It was on my nails too, so you should check out that video so you see it on. It's so beautiful. It's, it's a great color. It's, okay. Next, one of my favorites, which I layer on that one, is NYC's silver starry glitter starry silver glitter starry silver glitter number 105 and I just did a video applying this on my nails so um I will link that down below as well next we have Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer I've talked about this before I'm sure you guys have all heard about it so I'm not gonna go into it <coughs> next we have wet and wild color icon in the color purple violet number 65. This is a beautiful purple eyeliner which I will go ahead and swatch. Just looks like that. It's so pretty. I definitely recommend this for anybody who wants an actual purple eyeliner. This does show up as purple so it's it's awesome and like a lot of purple eyeliners will show up kind of black and this one doesn't and I like that about this one. Plus you get a lot of product and it's really cheap. It's like, I think it's 99 cents, but I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that, but it's fairly cheap for what you're getting. Next we have Extra Super Lash by Rimmel and this is Lash Building Mascara with a curved brush. I love this one. I totally recommend it. And the brush looks like this. So you do see that curve. And it's it's gorgeous. I'm wearing it right now with Lash Perfection on top. But you probably can't tell because I broke my eyelash curler so I have to buy a new one. Next I have Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Balm Stain. This is my favorite lip product, honestly, in the entire world. Um, I love this because I don't have to reapply. And I'm not very good at reapplying, and so it's it's hard for me to actually wear other kinds of lip products. But I still do when I'm not going to be out for very long. But I definitely recommend this one for anybody and everybody. This color is a door. It literally looks good on anybody. I've like I've recommended it to my friends and my my mom wore it the other day, and it just it's a good color because I'll swatch it. It is red, but it's a sheer red at first. Or you can really build it up and make it a deep red. So I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but that's the sheer one that's building it up. And this is just, it's so great and it really does last literally all day. Next I have this lipstick from Wet n Wild. This is called... Um, Wet n Wild Mega Lip Color and there's SPS 15 in it. And I will go ahead and swatch that. This is a really pretty color. But yeah, it's a really pretty color. It's not necessarily a good color for me. But I still wear it and I still like it. Because I love this color. And I don't really care what other people think. But yeah, so it's right here in the middle. Oh my gosh. Next we have a Kat Von D blush. It's called Ever Everlasting Face Shaper Blush. I got this with my 100 points from Sephora and it looks like this and I will swatch that as well it's right here it's a really really gorgeous pink color I'm really hoping that all of this is showing up on camera because 
that would suck if it wasn't. Okay, next I have an absolute must-have for me, especially since I just moved back to Colorado. It's so dry here, and um, my eye drops are a necessity. So my Blink Contacts Eye Drops, lubricating eye drops for soft and RGP lenses. So if you're looking for a good eye drop, this is an excellent one if you're a contact lens wearer. Next is my baby lips. I absolutely love baby lips. This just happens to be the one that I came across and just throw in my purse. But um, it's a very sheer purple, so it's not even like really giving you color. I'm going to build it up for you so you can see. It's really nothing. But I do wear that on a constant basis. And let me tell you, I will do a review on these because I have worn them so much that they deserve a review so I'm going to be doing a review and I'll tell you what my thoughts are and once I put that up I will post it down below so you guys can watch it okay and then last but not least is this Sally or not last but from this jar um, <laughs> Sally girl nail polish. I love these things. They're miniature and this is a really pretty blue sparkly color and I also layer it on top of Ocean by Revlon. So yeah. Okay on to more lovely favorites. Um, Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. I love this. I'm in 101 Classic Ivory. Uh, I, I cannot get enough of this foundation. Um, the only thing is like medium coverage so I am going to purchase at some point, um, Kat Von D's Locket Tattoo Foundation because I do need something with higher coverage. Next, I have the e.l.f. Brush Cleaner. I've heard terrible, it's called Brush Shampoo actually. I've heard terrible reviews on this, but I actually really love it. I definitely recommend buying it. It makes your brushes clean, easy peasy. Next, I have five palettes to say are my favorites, and I'm going to point out the colors too. They don't wear every color. So in Wet n Wild's Comfort Zone palette, my favorite is this duo chrome color right here at the bottom. And um it like it's it's like a, a like a I don't know, burgundy color, brownie kind of color, and a blue color. So it's really pretty. And that's all I really have been using from that palette. Um, next is my Naked 2 palette, which I have been using Booty Call, which is right here, um, Tease, Snake Bite, and Suspect for my looks. So, Booty Call, Tease, Snake Bite, Suspect. I don't know how well you can see those, but, um, I love Urban Decay so much. They have great shadows, so I definitely recommend them, and I love this palette. It, it's been well loved. <laughs> Alright, next we have the Walking on Eggshells palette by um, Wet n Wild, and um, it just looks like that. I've been using this simply because it's really easy to just throw in my purse when I go to class, so I can touch up or whatever, which I don't usually do. Um, and then in this palette, the main colors I use is this upper color right here. And the color below that. So I use the upper color as a highlight. The color below that I use in the crease. And, th and then this very bottom color I use on my lid. Which, yeah. So... There's those swatches. Hopefully you guys can see them. And then last but not least, I have been loving the color Blunt from the Urban Decay. I think this is called Skull Shadow Box, but I'm not entirely sure. It is really pretty gold yellow color. And it's right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm really hoping you can because it's so pretty. One of them is hand sanitizer, which I'm going to do now since I have all these swatches. Ah! It exploded, guys. This one is... Ah! Wow. Pink Champagne um, from Bath and Body Works. 
And it's not my favorite to use before I eat because it has glitter in it, which I think is just hilarious. Why would any company put glitter in a hand sanitizer? That's just weird, but it's really a cute packaging. They have it on this little thing. Let me put it in my purse. It kind of exploded, sorry. Ugh. <laughs> it smells really good, though. It smells like, um, it smells like Smarties, if you remember those little candies, or if you still have, are they still around? They're probably still around. Next is my, um, body butter from the body shop. I throw this in my purse. I've had extremely dry skin lately, because, you know, it's drier in Colorado, and my psoriasis slash eczema is really acting up. I don't know if you can see it on my finger, but, um... It's there, and it's just going to get worse as winter comes around. So I keep this for my hands in my bag, and then I have a big one that I haven't started using yet because it hasn't been that bad yet, um, the vitamin E one. So, yeah. Another one of my favorites is the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. I use this to set my makeup. However, I'm not going to repurchase it because it's so insanely messy and I don't recommend it because it's just so messy um, I'm definitely going to find a different powder to use to set my makeup because this is just not practical for me and then next we have the cinnamon spice tea by Tazo and I love this tea it's so good I definitely recommend this it's so yummy <laughs> and um, also lately I've been loving chai tea latte um, Mix Tazo from the store. It's just a concentrate, a liquid concentrate that you pour and you mix it with milk and you can have hot or cold. I do cold because I like it better. It's so good. And I love this tumbler that my mom got me. I think that's what they're called. They're called tumblers, right? Yeah. So my mom got me this. It's purple. I love purple. Purple's my favorite color. And then, last but not least, we have Sweet on Paris Spray, which smells like cotton candy. It drives my family crazy, but it's a great summer scent, and it's been my favorite this month. So, that is it for this month. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it turns out okay. Thank you so much for watching. I wanted to get this up. It's the last day of August, which makes me sad, because... It actually doesn't make me sad because that means we have September, and that's my mom's birthday and my dad's birthday, and then we have October, and that's my birthday, and I can't wait because I'm going to be 21, and I am so excited, but I'm not probably not going to get too crazy. <sighs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you all later. Bye!